Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is design problem on cable. Let's see the question. A 45 HP induction motor, 415 volt, 3 phase, 50 hertz is to be connected to a MCC that is motor control center which is 50 meter away. Three other similar circuit run in the same unenclosed cable tray. Ambient temperature is 45 degrees throughout the run. The fault level at this point is 40 kilo ampere. Calculate the size of conductor. Now here we have the table in which type of cable, value of K that is constant associated with the type of conductor. So constant associated with copper and next is constant associated with the aluminum. Both are given. So first is PVC cable less than 300 mm square. Value of K for copper is 115. Value of K for aluminium is 76. Next, PVC cable greater than 300 mm square. Value of K for copper is 103. Value of K for aluminium is 68. Next, XLPE cable. Value of K for copper is 114. And value of K for aluminium is 92. So, let's start with the solution. First, we'll focus on the given data. So here the given data is for induction motor is 45 HP. Next is 415 volt, 3 phase 50 hertz. Length is 50 meter. Temperature is 45 degree Celsius. And short circuit current is 40 kilo ampere. Now laying is unenclosed cable tray. So here you can see the laying is three other similar circuit running in the same unenclosed cable tray. So the laying is unenclosed cable tray. We are assuming efficiency as 85% and power factor as 0.8. Now from first we will find out the arrangement for the cable. So here from table number 11 we will select a suitable arrangement of laying. So as it is given in the question itself that three other similar circuit run in the same unenclosed cable tray. So we have to match this with our table. So uh, there are arrangements from A, B, C, D, E, F, G and so on. So we have to select an arrangement depending upon what is our requirement. So here as I have highlighted the type F arrangement is found to be suitable. Next is the selection of the cable is based upon the current carrying capacity, voltage drop and short circuit rating. So we will find out one by one. So first is calculation of load current. The formula is HP into 746 that, that is we are converting the HP to Watt. So we have 45 HP. So we will multiply it with the 746 divided by root 3 into voltage into efficiency into power factor. So if we put all the values we will get the load current as 68.76 ampere. So this is our load current 68.76 ampere. Next is we will calculate the total load current or the capacity. Okay. So the formula is IT equals to load current upon GATS where G is the grouping factor which is uh, 0.86 next is ambient temperature for 45 degree celsius is 0.79 now we will be selecting this from the table so here the arrangement of laying which we have selected is type f so now we have numbers of tables available so depending upon the installation method as you can see here the installation method EFG. So our installation is type F what we have selected and next thing is it is three phase. So this table number 15 we will be selecting. Now below the table you can see the ambient temperature and correction factor. So here in the question itself it is given that the ambient temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. So your correction factor is 0 0.79. Okay, 
so here is the value of 0.79 which is for 45 degree celsius so it is from the table next is thermal insulation factor which is given by t and s is semi enclosed fuse factor so it is related to the protective device so it is 1 now putting all the values in the formula you will get the total load current as 101.2 ampere so this is the total load current or the capacity now based upon the value of the total load current we have we have already selected the table number 15 according to our arrangement of laying and so it is a twin and multi core armored pvc insulated cable copper conductor and the conductor operating temperature is 70 degrees celsius so our uh, load current is 101.2 ampere so 101.2 ampere will be selecting the value from the table number 15 so here you can see for three phase the value approximate to 101.3 is nothing but 119 here you can see it is 119 the current carrying capacity approximate to the value 101 is 119 then the voltage drop is 1.1 and the cross sectional area of the conductor is 35 so it is from the table we are selecting this from the table so as you can see uh, the conductor area is 35 mm square current is 119 ampere and voltage drop is 1.1 millivolt so this is selected from the table next is short circuit calculation so this condition has to be satisfied k square s square should be greater than i square t so here k is the constant associated with the type of conductor which is uh, given with the question itself we have seen the table at the starting s is the cross sectional area of conductor i is the minimum prospective fault current that is the fault current which is also given in the question itself t is the disconnecting time disconnecting time of the operating device how fast it is operating and i square t is the let through energy so uh, this is the energy whatever when when fault occurs the let through energy it should be the cable should be able to let go the energy next is short circuit current is 45 kilo ampere and we are assuming that the disconnecting time of protective device is 10 millisecond and the value of k is 115 for copper conductor 115 because the conductor area is 35 mm square so from the table 35 mm square the pvc cable which is less than 30 300 mm square and copper conductor so we are selecting the value 115 so we'll put into the formula we have just rearranged this thing so putting into the formula you will get the value of s is greater than or equal to 39.13 mm square okay 39.13 mm square so the value of s what we got from the table is 35 so 35 so our condition is not satisfying this condition is not satisfying so from the short circuit calculation it is clear that minimum cable size required is 39.13 mm square and therefore the 35 mm square cable of 119 ampere is not suitable so what we will be doing is from the table number 15 which we will be selecting the higher value so as you can see here i've selected just the higher value so conductor area is 50 mm square current is 147 ampere and voltage drop is 0 0.81 millivolt so this will satisfy the condition and therefore the above condition should be satisfied which indicate that the conductor will withstand the energy let through the protective device so it has to withstand the energy led through the protective device and this condition will be satisfied by choosing the value the latest value next is we have to calculate the voltage drop 
here the formula of voltage drop is voltage drop into length into load current so total voltage drop is 0.81 this is from the table again here you can see the voltage drop is 0.81 so it is 0.81 into is millivolts so 0.81 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 50 which is the length given in the question into load current that is we have found out 68.76 so total voltage drop is 2.78 the voltage drop should be in the permissible limit so thus for selection of a cable will be based upon the current carrying capacity voltage drop and the short circuit rating so that's it for this video and thank you